welcome to episode 68 of Southern Gospel Now. I'm Greg Goodman. Southern Gospel Now is brought to you by southerngospelprizes.com, where you can register for Southern Gospel Prize Packs. We begin this week with a great honor for Janet Paschal. She is being inducted into the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. Janet is a native of Reedsville and current resident of Burlington, North Carolina. She is donating several items which will be on display at the museum. The memorabilia includes a performance dress and a key to the city of Reedsville. She will be cutting the ribbon to open the exhibit at the induction ceremony scheduled for this fall. Our congratulations to Janet Paschal on this honor. While we're talking awards, the Gospel Music Association has announced some important dates for this year's Dove Awards. Nominations will be announced Wednesday, August 10th at 10 a.m. Central. The live taping of the 53rd annual GMA Dove Awards will take place Tuesday, October 18th at Allen Arena on the campus of Lipscomb University in Nashville. Initial broadcast of the Dove Awards telecast will be on TBN, Trinity Broadcasting Network, Friday. October 21st, 8 p.m. Central. This week has seen Joseph Habitank performing at a youth conference. He tells us about this and why it is so special to him. I think one of the coolest things about my solo ministry is that when I first started out, my prayer was to help not only addicts and their families, but to reach young people because not many people in Southern Gospel Music seem to be able to break through to that crowd. And for whatever reason, God has... Um, shown favor in my life and he's given me both of those platforms and every year i get to sing at this amazing youth conference in pigeon forge called arise and uh, this year there's going to be four thousand teenagers there and these are kids that not only um show up for this concert but they know my music Uh, they love the song big enough that was their theme song a few years ago and so every single kid in there uh, knows my music, and uh, it is just an amazing experience. And even more importantly than that is to watch how God moves in those services and to see those kids touched by the music and the message. Tribute Quartet has been in the studio preparing for a new project. Tribute's Josh Singletary takes us on a behind-the-scenes tour. Hey, y'all, we're in the studio. This is our first day in the studio for the brand-new CD. It has been since... 2019 since we did Living the Stories. Here's the product. Listen. The last hit for the Kingdom Heirs is What You Could Never Get Over. Jacob Ellison comments on the impact the song has made. To my amazement, it has been such an encouragement to people and, and an encouragement to me for if anything. I've seen people come up to me telling me that they lost their children and never dreamed that would have happened to them, but God's getting them through. So uh, this song's an encouragement, if anything, and a true testament to people and the struggles that we all face, wondering how we're going to get through it. Jim and Melissa Brady's latest tune is Welcome. Jim Brady talks about how timely this song is. Now that we're back out on the road doing concerts and uh, getting together with, with the family of God and being able to go worship in the house of God, it is just so much more special to us because uh, we missed it so much. And uh, so this song is really appropriate for this time. The Guardian's new radio single is not for long. John Duran Rousey gives us the story behind the song. I got a phone call one day from Karen Peck, and it just so happened we both had COVID. She was coming out of it, and I was kind of just in the middle of it. And we started to talk that day. It was, you know, just in the beginning of the shutdowns and everything that was going on. And everybody felt uncertain. Everybody felt like they just didn't know what was coming. She said, all I can tell you is that I keep hearing the Lord say to my heart, it's a bad season, but it's not for long. And she said, I feel like there's a song in there somewhere 
that we need to write. And while we were both sick and coughing and, you know, carrying on, we started working on that song, got together with Sue Smith and finished it uh, in Nashville. The new song from Endless Highway is about the business. Jason Griggs of the group says that it reminds him of a Bible story. But my mind, probably like most Bible students, went immediately to Luke 2.49, the story where Mary and Joseph and Jesus were on their journey, and suddenly they couldn't find Jesus. He was missing. And when they found him, he was in the temple. And they said, don't you know we've been anxious? We've been anxiously searching everywhere for you. And he said, don't you know that I had to be about my father's business? Levi and Jacob Mills of The Sound explain why they ultimately arrived at the title of their new project, God is Real. We actually didn't know until much later that we wanted to, that we were going to call the album that because we didn't actually, we didn't want to call the record a song title. Like we didn't want to name the record after a song because when we were talking about it, we were like, you know, the album is a work in itself. Each song is obviously a work in itself, but the album is a work on its own. So we should probably give the album a title that's its own thing. But we started talking about it right before we turned the album in and everybody, uh, yeah. our producer, Barry and, uh, the Barry's record the one company that, that first, he said, I think we should call it God is real. Yeah. And our record all, company we all... and us, we were all like, that's, that's got to be the title. Looking at the Singing News Power 50 weekly chart, after eight weeks at number one, Brian Free and Assurance move down and make way for the latest from Legacy 5. They are at number one this week with Enough For Me. Congratulations to Legacy 5. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you'll come back next week for more Southern Gospel News. If you missed episodes along the way, you can find them wherever you get podcasts or at southerngospelnow.com. I'm Greg Goodman reminding you to love your neighbor. I'll see you next week with another edition of Southern Gospel Now.